Lava fields as far as the eye can see and volcanoes that were active 300 years ago. The natural beauty of southern Lanzarote. Farther north, the vegetation is more lush, but the landscape is still rocky. The island gets little rain and the climate is mild all year round. The northern edge of the island boasts the highest observation point on Lanzarote. It was set up by the artist Cesar Manrique more than 40 years ago. Manrique did a lot to shape tourism here. Cesar Manrique thought that an artist had a duty to do more than just paint, design sculptures, or build houses. He should get involved. And he assumed this responsibility on Lanzarote. The island as we know it today is the result of Manrique's vision of sustainably balanced and sensible tourism. Cesar Manrique died in 1992, but every year tens of thousands of people still visit his home, where the artist brought to life his notion of fusing art and nature. The house itself was built into a massive lava field. Underground passageways lead into the rooms, which Manrique integrated into natural volcanic bubbles. The house itself is a work of art. And a permanent exhibition features works by the artist, who became known as one of Spain's top painters during the 50s. Manrique wanted others to experience his passion for Lanzarote, and he put a great deal of creativity into promoting tourism on the island. One of his early projects is located just a few kilometers away the water caves of Jameos del Agua. It's home to a rare white crab that is normally only found in waters below 2,000 meters. The location is a top tourist attraction on the island with a unique history of its own. Before César Manrique opened this site in 1966, farmers used the cave as a place to keep their cattle. The upper part of the Jameos del Agua boasts a swimming pool. It was open to the public until a few years ago. Now the crowds are too large. Instead, the venue puts on regular shows by famous musicians. César Manrique built a concert hall into the volcanic rock that can accommodate 1,000 spectators. The musicians always think they'll be playing inside a normal building, and when they get here they say, we're supposed to play here? They think the acoustics will be bad, but many of them put aside the microphone and sing without it. The sound here is fantastic. Visitors can also catch a glimpse of what the volcanic world looks like 50 meters down at the nearby Cuevas de las Verdes. This series of caves is home to the second longest lava tunnel in the world. We're now in one of the biggest caves on the Canary Islands. It's about seven kilometers long and about 10 meters tall. It takes you through a place formed by a huge lava stream thousands of years ago. That's what fascinates our visitors most. It's really remarkable. More traces of the island's volcanic heritage are visible at the Timan Fire National Park in southern Lanzarote. Several of the 33 volcanoes here are still active, but there's no immediate danger of an eruption. 
The restaurant El Diablo uses the heat stored meters beneath the Earth's surface to cook for and entertain guests. I would never go anywhere else. I feel most at home here. There is no other place with a landscape like this. Besides the moon, this is everything to me. Rugged yet beautiful, Lanzarote offers unforgettable scenery for any visitor.